I'm Colin Singer, immigration lawyer and managing partner of Immigration.ca. Canada Immigration News Articles, August 2014. U.S. Immigration Issues, Good for Canada, says Minister Jason Kenney. Thinking of a fast-track immigration program to permanent residents in Canada? If so, this could be the best time to consider it, as it seems the stalled immigration reforms in the United States are paving the way to Canada to attract young, skilled foreign workers into its burgeoning tech sector employment industry. The Federal Employment Minister, Jason Kenney, is heartily endorsing his government's effort to entice educated immigrants north of the 49th parallel as a direct counter to American policy obstacles that deter immigrants from settling down in the U.S. after earning highly prized degrees. We are seeking very deliberately to benefit from the dysfunctional American immigration system, says Kenny. I make no bones about it, as he emphatically explained to journalists, at a West Vancouver news conference. According to Kenny, the government aspires to capitalize off the super smart graduates that are being produced in the United States, where thousands of young students from all over the world attend prestigious schools like Stanford University, MIT, and the University of California. He said that Canada plans to aggressively promote the opportunities it provides, which includes its budding startup visa program and its incoming fast-track program to permanent residents for entrepreneurs who wish to launch companies but find themselves blocked from procuring green cards in the United States. The government plans to issue a maximum of 2,750 visas for each year of the five-year pilot project, which is limited to entrepreneurs who already have the backing of a venture capital firm in Canada. If the United States doesn't want to open the door to permanent residency for them, that door will be opened in principle for them to come to Canada, says Kenny. Last year, Kenny had traveled to the San Francisco Bay Area, where Silicon Valley had already claimed about 350,000 Canadians and campaigned for foreign talent. The federal government put up a massive billboard with a giant red maple leaf advertising directly to foreign nationals burdened with U.S. visa troubles. Kenny said that the Pivot to Canada billboard generated massive interest and buzz in the Silicon Valley high-tech sector. Questioned whether Canada may get any criticism from the U.S. for openly courting its grads, Kenny mentioned that he had raised the government's objectives very openly in Washington. And the U.S. advocates for immigration reform have used Canada's activity there and the Silicon Valley scenario as an argument for comprehensive immigration reform in Washington, he said. We'll leave that to the Congress and the United States presidents to evolve their immigration policy. Ever since Kenny became the immigration minister, he has been continuing the drive for global talent. Recently, Kenny made an important announcement that is aimed at improving recognition of foreign credentials. He revealed a $3.3 million funding package for the British Columbia government aimed at matching more skilled immigrants with work opportunities. The funding is slated for more than 30 projects that work on removing barriers faced by newcomers who are trained overseas with a particular focus in British Columbia in the energy and resource sectors. These projects help employers to remove obstacles for new Canadians entering the workforce, making available more information online, promoting the in-demand jobs in Canada, and working with regulators to hasten the credential recognition process. B.C. Attorney General Suzanne Anton said the renewal of funding will assist the province to fill an expected 1 million job openings by 2022, including its developing liquefied natural gas industry. Letting a group of people languish because their credentials are not recognized is not good for them, nor is it good for our province, she said. Source, Global News.